Hey there! In case you're new to the channel, or you just forgot his video you clicked on, my name is Two Dweller, and welcome back to another Thank God It's Free. And today's Black Friday, isn't it? Uh, I thought about doing a special edition where it was like I bought one that was like super cheap on Steam, but I figured that wouldn't really work out well because it's supposed to be free, you know? Um, so today the game you're or the game you're seeing on your screen is called Rescue the Great Demon 2. And this came out. Actually, you know what? Let me maneuver to the uh, store page real quick. Um, this did not come out that long ago. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. This came out six days ago. So almost a week ago. Um, and I'm going to get down to the about this game. Okay. So... Um, Right, like I said, there's this is two, so there's another one that's related to this. I did not play that one, but okay. So it says, humans controlled the Sino continent. They made the rules and annihilated every race that opposed them. Every one of them became their slaves, except other humans. Demons have been enslaved for 80 years since their army was destroyed, and their leader, the Great Demon, was captured. This is where our story begins. In Rescue the Great Demon 2, you will play as the weak Great Demon and discover a unique storyline. You will need to escape from your prison with your last six followers and try to survive in this chaotic continent. A horse, a carriage, a map, a story. Could you find the truth behind all of this? Uh, features. A detailed, semi-open world. Play as the villain. Control the demon and fight humans. A game that mixes adventure with a classic RPG atmosphere. Explore the landscape of Baal Zibol. Gee, thanks guys. Great job naming that. Full of different regions and created with a hand-drawn art style. An original soundtrack and a game made an RPG maker that pushes the engines to its limits. Um, now, the customer reviews are, um, yeah, the custom, customer reviews are very positive, um, which I'm not going to lie to you, based on my review, surprised me very, very much. Um, alright, but let's just move into this. And I've added in a new thing. I'm writing down notes during each one of the games now. So after I give you everything, I'll say, and a couple of notes I had, or, you know, and a few notes I had are this, and then we'll get into everything. Um, but okay, so first off, the story. Uh, I gave the story two-fifths of a star. I honestly, it was okay. It had a story, but I don't know. It didn't seem like it had a very in-depth story. Um... And it didn't seem like the story really mattered that much, from what I could see. I mean, it had a play in the game, obviously, but it didn't seem to me like I could like it really mattered. And um, I didn't like the story they set up for it anyway, so I thought that was kind of stupid. Um, next on, or go on to the next thing, uh, gameplay. I had to give the gameplay a full star, so just one star, because honestly, the gameplay is. It runs well. It runs perfect. No lag, well, even when I was recording, which takes up a lot of my memory, so therefore, cannot complain about that. Um, moving on to the family friendliness. Family friendliness gets a zero star. No star. This is the first one that's gotten a no star on it. Um, but because, one, there's swear words, which I think I've blurred out in this, but there are swear words uh, throughout the game. And also, it's a game about demons. And I don't know about you, but I don't think a game about demons is really good for a young little kid or something. So, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Personal enjoyment. Another empty star. Hated this game. Okay? I'm going to be honest with you. I absolutely hated this game. I, it was, there were, there was one aspect of that that was fun and it was, the first fight and then it was like it was kind of like oh that's kind of cool but then after that just pfft, nope sucks you know at least in my opinion like i said the steam review is very positive if you guys want to go you know but whatever uh next up and last replay ability uh i gave it another zero star i don't think this game has any replay ability i think the only way you would want to replay it is if you were actually into finding all the secrets and easter eggs and stuff and i'm not i don't think I'm really into something that I don't even like. You know, I don't, I don't know. It just, I give it no replay, zero stars for replayability because I just 
Doesn't seem that replayable. It seems like something you play, it's like a one and done kind of thing. <sighs> All right, so that leaves our um, total review. The overall score was one and two fifth stars, um, which honestly, I think it deserves less, but I had to, but with my rating system, that's how I had to rate it because I want to be fair. I don't want to just say, no, I hated it, so I'm not going to give it anything. It did have perfect gameplay. It did have a story that was semi-decent, and so I had to award it the points for that. Everything else just did not was lacking. And now on to a couple notes. Um, something I learned throughout this game is the language or the translation needs to be updated majorly. There were so many spelling errors, uh, just spe not even just spelling errors. They had the wrong words in places. Just I feel like you might want they might want to hire. An actual, if they have if hire a different tr English translator or hire a di English translator if they haven't already. Um, I just I'm not trying to be mean or be like you have to speak English or anything. You know that's why I said you might want to hire an English translator because I, I just if you're a grammar uh, freak and I sort of am or grammar spelling freak anything like that, you're not gonna want to play this game. It will tick you off to like the point where you want to explode um and then my last note or my next and last note is that the user interface when they're talking is off center um i don't know if you guys noticed i don't know if you guys saw but like sometimes when i am or when they're just talking there's nothing or there i can't read like uh half the thing because it's so big and they didn't just put it press enter enough times or whatever to make it go down that the left side's getting cut off and the right side's getting cut off and I'm sorry but if you want your game to be playable and enjoyable you can't have a mistake like that you can't have it where they can't even read what's going on especially with your limited story you cannot have that that's a no and yeah so that is going to have to conclude my review of this game um, like I said, one and two fifth stars is the official rating by me. And you know what? If you guys want to go check out this game, I don't advise you to, but if you guys still want to check it out anyway, the link will be in the description. Like I said, completely free. That's what this series is about is reviewing free games and you can get it right now. Uh, as long as you still want to. Um, so yeah, honestly, I don't know. I don't think it's that good. But you know what? I've already said that like 5 billion times. So you go and do what you want with it. If you want to go do a review on it or do your own check on it, you can go do that in the description or you can just look it up on Steam. It's just called Rescue the Great Demon 2. And yeah, but I think that's going to have to be it for me now. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like this, please let me know that you actually enjoyed it. By leaving a like down in the place that's near the subscribe button stuff. And speaking of the subscribe button, if you want to see more stuff like this and you want to be told when it comes out, uh, you can click the red subscribe button and that should tell you, or you know, it's supposed to tell you <laughs> when um, that's kind of stuff or when my videos release. So if you want to do that, you can click the, that button down there. And yeah, uh, keep on playing, I guess. I don't know. Um, and yeah, so I guess we will hang out in the next one. Cool?